What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Jordan Starks Road to the Show. Season 2 is now underway. Jordan begins. And he's here with the San Diego Padres organization still. And it looks like he's not part of spring training if you look at this. End spring training. That doesn't, to me, say, hey, come play these teams and see if you can actually start at shortstop this year. I just don't get it. We didn't go and pick up anybody. A Danny Echeverria is very close to the ratings of Jordan Starks. Can we compare the two, perhaps? Good contact versus lefties. Very good vision. Durable. Good fielder. And uh, those hot spots against lefties are pretty good. Now for Jordan, a little bit more balanced at the plate. Maybe not as good in the field. But why not at least back up a Danny Echeverria? Eric Gonzalez is doing that now at 67 overall. How old is Eric Gonzalez? 26. Not a, a very dynamic bat. Pretty good fielder off the bench with some speed. So I'm not sure Starks is about to get his chance. Wait a minute. Frank Sanderson. Wow, that was the name of a player I had in my Chargers franchise. Anyway, maybe we should just go play golf if they don't want me to play at the major league level. Starting right fielder. I believe that was uh, Colin Cowgill. So let's uh, move on. I guess he's not on the major league or the 40-man roster. So there is no spring training for Jordan Starks. Definitely disappointing. I thought that he'd get that chance. So we're still here at AAA. And it's time to begin a new season. Though each player hopes not to be around here by the end of it, this AAA manager nevertheless rallies his team for the beginning of a new season campaign. At least one kid watching today has never been to a ball game before. Gonna root like heck for his home team. Let's feel like that about this game. Every game. So we are taking on Albuquerque in our first game. And Starks has this icon next to his name. I'm not sure what this means, but it seems to be a good thing. Here we go. Red Rock Stadium welcomes us to the second year of Jordan Stark's baseball career. Chad Betts on the mound. A ERA near five. I think we can take advantage or Chad Bettis. I think we can take advantage of this. So a clean slate for Jordan Starks no longer riding the coattails of his double A success. Now you got to do it all over again, Jordan. Here at the Triple A level, it's a brand new season. And I don't recognize this stadium at all. What? Come on, Jordan. A first pitch pop-up. I do think Jordan became a pretty good fielding shortstop last year. There were a number of great plays by him, and the errors were cut down tremendously. Can we turn two on this? We got one. Back to first. Let's go. Good play. You love getting double plays when you have that double XP on, too. So Jordan very much a first pitch hitter in his first season, at least at the double A level. So we'll see what the trends say this year. I don't want to swing at every first pitch, but they're so good. Jordan falling behind here. 0-2. And a piece of it, but that's basically just saving the strikeout as we... Wow, they call that a base hit. Thank you. That was awful kind of you. That was an error. I don't know how you don't rule that an error. I mean, I know it's supposed to be like the more routine plays and they're more lenient on the special stuff as they throw badly to second. They're giving Starks some stats here. I love it. A base hit now, a steal. But I mean, if that's an error, then I'm not, or if that's a base hit, I'm not sure a third baseman can even have a fielding error. I mean, he had to step in a few steps to get a very routine ground ball. So, Starks now in scoring position as we get a base hit to right field. Starks staying. Should probably check out what the third baseman want, or third base coach wants him to do. I don't think I've ever checked that. El Paso is up 1-0, and the Chihuahuas have a chance for a couple more. We get a fly ball hit to right. It's drifting, and... Caught. Okay, Jordan, can we earn one this time? I, I'm not happy with that first hit of the season. That was horrible. Jammed. Broken bat pop-up. This is not how I anticipated starting the season. Fourth time's the charm. That's what I always say. 
So a man on first base. And now going to their bullpen a bit. Do I want to hit the scoreboard in left center or the show 17 sign in right center? Decisions. Decisions. Or do we go to the gas station out there in center field? Or past center field? Hey, that's your best swing of the day. So Jordan's falling behind here like every count. 0-2. Oh, the slurve. Man, that game was horrible. Oh, no. Come on. The Isotopes end up taking this game? What happened? We had a 1-0 lead, and then they scored in three consecutive innings. Or it was a 2-0 lead. And we let it go. Oh, it's raining this time. Do games still get rained out in the show? I'm pretty sure that can happen. Like, you can play a game and it gets called. I'm a fan of that. So here is Jordan Starks. Now we're in game number two, hoping to have some better swings today. We didn't have any that went into play anyway. So, Jordan here in the first inning. And they're still all around the zone. They're not throwing anything I can actually take. But the timing is still off. Come on, Jordan. You got the magic stance and everything. We have to get this corrected. And that rain's kind of... It kind of uh, is distracting. It looks like I'm watching some 8-bit space shooter in the background of this game. As he swings through a slider. Were we a bit early on that one? Yep. See, everything's in the zone. I can't get ahead in the count if they only throw strikes. Oh, two. Great. Jordan, you don't look like yourself today. Maybe you have to go back down to double A with the way things are going. 2 nothing Albuquerque here. Not trying to lose the first two of the season now. And another runner on base, though. They've been doing that so far in these first couple games. I do not like that high inside fastball, though. I cannot catch up to it. So, two down. They give it to me again, and we get jammed. I'm trying to turn on those, but it's so tough for me to catch up. And the Isotopes have taken game number two. So, not the start we hoped for here in Jordan Stark's second season. We'll see if it gets corrected in game three. 125, Jordan. 125. Let's change that here. Game three against Albuquerque. We are 0-2 on the season. And there we go. Now we can take the first pitch. The first one that wasn't in the zone. And we get jammed a bit going down the right field line. And a fly out. Timing has been off on just about every swing here. In the fourth inning. Another fastball outside. You know, when the hitting is just a little bit off like this, I'd like to have those batting practice swings before the game again, just to get everything timed up better. That was an improvement, but still an out. But hey, maybe some good fielding play can get Jordan back to his former self. Nice throw on to first. 23 points for that defensive stop. Can we turn two here? It's a 4 nothing lead. Jordan can't take that one away. And that might... Nope, it's going to load the bases for Albuquerque. And then they get a walk. Great. What's next? Oh, I guess we're going to go back to the game. Lamar McGee at bat with two strikeouts. And we need this double play, but need some runs for ourselves more than anything. So an 0-2 count. There's the ground ball to get things started here. There you go, Jordan. 6-4-3. If this doesn't get better here soon, we're going to see Jordan go down in the order. He's been that number three hitter now for a long time, but it's not hitting like it so far. Two on here in the sixth inning against the lefty pitcher. Now his first time against the lefty, I believe, this year, and that's fielded. No, they got the play at second in turn two. Come on, just let that one go down the line. I need one of these. Uh-oh, we've dipped below 100 now on the average. And I still don't think that one hit should even count. 5-1, Albuquerque leads. Running out of outs here. Okay, they gave us a couple easy takes here. So Jordan ahead in the count now, 2-0. -oh. 
should get something good here in theory, but we don't. So with Jordan struggling here, do you go green light 3-0 with two down? I still kind of want to. Not sure if it's the right move. 3-0. We gotta go. Yes! Jordan Starks, hit that sign! Okay, maybe that's a little bit further back than I thought. But there you go. A no doubt, two run home run on a power swing ahead in the count 3-0. That is the Jordan Starks we want to see. This one goes 393 feet for his 30th career minor league home run. And again, that right center gap, his favorite. Welcome back, Jordan Starks. Now your second year is really underway. Will that spark the offense at all? 5-3? No way. No way. We got a home run after that? Please tell me we win this game. No, they got a runner in scoring position, but a strikeout. And they end up taking the lead right back and getting a home run. Just when we get our hopes up. We put five runs up in the eighth. And it's probably not going to matter. The isotopes have taken the first three games away from us. I thought we were going to win this game and we could go on the journey there on the home run. But no, the isotopes come right back. Unleash the power against us. And this team is again looking very bad. I still want to go on the journey here, however. Big hit here by Starks. And there's no fans out here to even get the souvenir. This is an interesting stadium. There is no outfield seating. And now... Oh, the ball might be gone forever. What? I've never seen this happen. I don't think it's happened in this series. Pinch hitting. Wow, Jordan, are you tired or are you just bad? You come off the bench. Two to one. El Paso does have the lead already. As Jordan now with two hits on the season. A 167 average. There we go. Like one more hit though to get it corrected. I love sample sizes. I want to unleash that power swing again though. Ooh, fastball right there on the outside corner. I should like that pitch a bit more than I do, but I really don't. So, one and two now to Jordan. He's fallen behind. But will that matter? Popped it up. We're late on that one. That's that's a high pitch that I like, actually. But not a good at-bat. So, they take Starks out. Can we get this win? It looks like we do. So, we begin the season by dropping three of four in our initial series. Apparently we're not done. Is this a five game series? What are we in the playoffs or something? Five games against the same team? That is exhausting. A three game series is enough. You play three games, someone wins two, they get a victory and move on to the next one. This is too much. It is by far my least favorite thing about minor league baseball. Runners at the corners though in this fifth game as Starks begins. Ah, fouling off the curve. What was timing on that? It was good. Both of those low in the zone. We've had the change up in the curveball. So 0-2 and a slider fouled off. Jordan. The first one was a power swing. That was a normal swing. Get it corrected, Jordan. This is an RBI spot right here. The team needs your bat. I will still focus on contact until that gets better for Jordan at this level as he battles here. No! The fastball is in there. The last few had been all over the place, and then he gives me one that I should have been able to swing at. I bet if you give Starks a game or two at San Antonio, it'd be all back to normal. Starks just has not been the same guy here at El Paso. 0 for 3 on the day. Just a 125 average. They could use you now though, Jordan. As we have two aboard with only one down in the 7th. Big fastball up there. Oh, at 88 miles per hour. And we were still late? You can't be late on a pitch in the 80s. So, the 0-1. There we go. Now we're in front of a changeup here, and that 
Looked like it was clobbered. But now a 1-2 count for Jordan. What will they go after him here with here? And, this is down. Another one -two delivery. Hit on the and pull this one to third base. Come on, Jordan. What is going on with you? Isotopes win again. A lot of quick games going on here as we're now 1-4. Can we play somebody else now? So what should we upgrade here with Jordan? I feel like plate vision, we're starting to see a lot of the benefit here. There were some bad pitches that we were able to foul off. So I think that vision's all right, but just getting that contact right, still my focus, but we can't upgrade both. Those are getting kind of expensive right now. So 74 overall. And we have returned home for our first season of the, or this first series of the season for the home fans. So we'll see if this helps Jordan Starks. Hopefully have a better hitting series. Only two hits in that first series that went five games. A really lackluster single and a quite impressive home run. But in between that, ugly ground outs, strikeouts, pop-ups. No line drives really, no deep fly outs. So Starks just grounding it back up the middle and they'll still let him reach base. With two down here, I think we might attempt to steal. Let's go into showtime and take off. It is pulled into left and we're gonna race on to third. Get there Jordan, hustle in safe, but not by very much. Let's get that first inning lead. And now Hunter Renfro underneath one a bit. Shallow right. Shouldn't be very tough. Still trying to get things going at the plate. This whole team is struggling right now. Even Rodney Schmidt's average is down in like the 150s. So not many runs for us so far. This season is turning out to be just kind of like last year. There we go, a line drive into right center, and that gets down. And Starks will be in with a double. Oh, and by the way, a little bit ago, Jordan did have his first error on the season. Just kind of frustrated with a lot of the hitting on here so far. Rushed one of these throws, and it ended up being Starks' first error. Here is Hunter Renfro. With Starks on second base, and that gets through. We got to test it here. Going around, Jordan. There'll be no play. Starks gets us on the board. Man, this team is really bad. It's seven to one. That's too tall. Every now and then I get some of those, and it's just like, why am I playing on these? Oh, he's going to third? Are you kidding me? Come on. And he'll get wow, good safety. triple in the left center, not even right center. Did you really need more runs? It's 12 to 3. Save some offense for the next game. And here is a ground ball hit to Jordan. Got the out. Tacoma wins. And that gives us our fifth loss already. We're 1 and 5. Well, it appears Tacoma hasn't wasted much time now in this game. Base is loaded in the first inning. But hey, Starks, here's your chance to end the inning. Can we turn? What? No! Jordan with the error. There was no meter or anything. What are you doing, Jordan? That's an easy double play. All right, Starks, can you make up for that error? Our team does not have a hit yet. Top four, and that's the fastball I want. Why am I late on all these fastballs right now? Something's wrong with my timing. Pulled on to short again. A lot of these just routine bouncers to the middle infielders. Starks now up in the sixth inning. A chance to do some damage here. It's a two-run game as that fastball gets by him. Again, good timing. Popped up here into foul territory. Can that get to the seats? No! What a catch! Right in front of the fans. It just keeps on piling on. Stark's still sitting here with an average around 125. 
Bottom of the ninth inning here, Jordan. Team needs you. I mean, we're one and five. No one's playing very well. Our pitchers, our hitters, can't even field right now. Not much confidence in this team at the moment. 0-1. Oh and, and now ahead of the changeup. Right now, late on the fast stuff, early on the slow stuff. We've got to get this corrected. 0-2, oh Jordan. Again, falling behind. Strike three. Okay, let's go into the upgrading here. and We're going to get that contact evened up now. We have 64 apiece. Eventually, we will return to upgrade power, but obviously... Making solid contact right now has been the concern. So, we actually have lost six games now. I think Jordan had an off day or something. So, one in six. We eventually have to get this corrected. Or at least, better than we currently are. So, I'm not sure if it'll help. But after that last game, I went and just exited Road to the Show and played some Challenge of the Week. Just to get some some more swings in there. I like Challenge of the Week. It's kind of fun. I wish there was a way just uh, you should be able to sit here and just hit batting practice all day long if you want to and practice against certain pitches. I'm surprised that's not like in road to the show. If you just want to like, you know, practice at certain speeds, locations would make a lot of sense to me. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And I wish there was a more effective way to practice in this game. They took out batting practice before the road to the show games. I liked keeping that optional. You could always keep it a uh, default off. But now I could use a few practice cuts. There we go, Jordan. Pulling it to left. That is off the wall. Catching up to it this time. May not get the RBI, but we will for sure take that double. That was that was nice right there. It only takes one swing of the bat to get out of a slump, and maybe that's what we're seeing right here. He's been struggling, no doubt about it, but he's able to lace this thing off the wall, and he's standing at second with some newfound confidence. I mean, I'm sure happy for a start like this. Two in scoring position now. Do not waste it here. Mitch Hanniger, line drive to center. You're not even giving me a sign! You weren't even telling me to go or stay! So I went, and it worked. But next time, I would pr appreciate your feedback. The whole time, he is just standing here. Starks needs some feedback. He doesn't even, like, celebrate when we score. Well, I guess everything still went well in that inning. On to the third now. It's a two-on, nobody-out situation. Oh, the fastball at 83. Really got to dial it back. Can we really call it a fastball at that point? I think it's just kind of a pitch. We should just call it four-seam ball. That's not a fastball. 0-1. Oh and, and now a slow ball that we're in front of. Come on, Jordan. You got to battle back from this. And he pulls it to short. Line out. We miss those RBI chances and those tend to come back to hurt you. So Tacoma now 3-3 three to three as we were able to tie the game up here already in this inning. There we go. Fastball foul. But we're getting better. Now I'm not sure if that challenge of the week practice was just correlation, not causation for this. But it seems to be getting better. I just don't see, like, the depth of that fastball when it's up high. Because it kind of just stays in the same location on the screen. 0-2. That's why I think, like, playing baseball in VR would be interesting. Because you get that proper depth perception. Oh, man. That was horrible. You know, now that I think about it, this game being a PlayStation exclusive and having no VR support is somewhat interesting. Because I think that it would actually work out pretty well. I love to play a game like this in VR, but who knows, maybe in the future. Starks here in the seventh inning with two down. And that curveball in there with that sidearm delivery, that's... That's one I haven't really had to read before like that, but it was a good pitch to hit. Now we're late on the curveball, got some juice behind it, good hit speed. 
Two straight breaking balls, though. Probably not going to see a third. And popped it up on the inside. For some reason, though, I just can't catch up to that inside fastball. Oh, come on. We took the lead in the eighth inning, and then they matched us in the ninth. We're just not meant to win very many games. Like, a lot of bad teams in baseball are still, like, within arm's reach of 500. Yeah, we're not, we're not part of that group. So, bottom nine here, Jordan. Could use a nice walk-off blast here for our second victory. Oh, or a one and two, however. Five straight fastballs now. Another one, two. Slider gets him swinging. Left side. Oh no, Jordan, he made that throw in time, no way, no way, that was incredible Jordan, but we could use some incredible play in the batter's box now, bottom 11, send these folks home with a victory to celebrate, they don't want to go after him here, two of these not even close. So a 2-0 to Jordan. Oh, no! That time I had caught up to it, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if that was, like, slightly late. Maybe it was. See, I wish that they would just give you feedback on hits like that, too. Like, they should make it a little bit more of a learning experience, even when you make contact. To know if you did something right or if you got away with doing something wrong. Double play ball. Oh, Jordan, what was that running start? We do turn two, however. This game is just not going to end. There he is again. And I have to look at that batting average every time he has an at-bat. 129. Bottom of the 14th inning. You can't tell me there are many relievers left for Tacoma here. Big curveball, and Jordan is underneath it. You know what I was thinking there. I wanted to end this thing. If a game goes 18 innings, though, and you win, wow, as we, wait, who, who hit that? We did. We got a walk-off three-run home run. But if a game goes 18 innings, you should just give a team two wins. I think that makes sense. But the Chihuahuas do get the victory. Big walk-off home run here for Mitch Hanager. Jordan went like one for seven in this game, so I can't even be all that happy with the double he hit in the first inning. I think Jordan could use one of those after an episode like this. A player is addressed about a troubling trend in his plate performance of late. Let's try to address these strikeouts by changing up your approach at the plate. Yeah, like hitting the ball, maybe. A hitter lacking patience and discipline will be easily exposed by Major League Pitching. Sometimes these things take time. Keep cool. Focus on discipline and contact. You'll get there. Starks could certainly use a boost at the plate. He's now trending down for like the first time in his career, just batting 125, only four hits in eight games, 32 at-bats, no walks. So, not the start to the year we had hoped for, and we'll see if Jordan still remains the AAA starter, batting third in the lineup. I mean, I'm not sure what the plans are for the Padres, as they have sent Eric Gonzalez down. There is no Major League bench shortstop, but I'm sure there is like a, a second baseman or something that's backing up at the moment. Anyway, that is going to do it for this episode, everybody. Do you have anything to upgrade? Not sure there is much I should do right now. Plate discipline. They said to work on discipline. I'm going to put three points into discipline. And that helps check swings. We can definitely check some of these bad swings. That'd be cool. But that's going to do it for this episode, everybody, in the Jordan Starks Road to the Show. But we'll be back very soon with another episode as you try to get this corrected here. Triple A has always been a challenge. And hopefully we can start to thrive a bit more with Jordan Starks. So, please leave a like if you enjoyed the episode, comment your feedback below, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a great day.